Hello and welcome to our Zoom episode in October of What's Up Stratford. Joining me in starting the show is Gemma Mendez-Smith from Walkerton, and we're going to talk about the four counties and all the labor movement. Gemma, thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for having me, Peter. So before we start, I know you have quite a interest in Toastmasters and a background. Tell me how that parlays as well into a good skill in terms of a job prospect. Absolutely. You know, Toastmasters offers the most inexpensive opportunity to grow your skills. And I think people think, I don't want to be a speaker. But Toastmasters offers you the opportunity in your job search to really do a good job of selling yourself, being able to speak and speak confidently about the things that you want to offer that employer. Toastmasters can offer you that. They've got short programs and programs that can take you maybe six weeks to really ramp up your skills. And I would, I would say that would be one of the best investments anyone can make in themselves. Great. And I know your organization. Tell me first off the four counties you represent and kind of a high level of what you do. Bruce, Gray, Huron and Perth counties are the, the areas that we serve and we work with labor market information. So the information that we share with people helps them make a really good decision about education, about skills development and where they might want to go next in their career. And Gemma, you also do training as I saw on your, is it connect to jobs uh, website? Tell well, us about connect, the website. Yeah, go ahead. We have two things actually. We've got the Connected Jobs website, which offers, it's an aggregator that brings all of the opportunities across the four counties in one place. People can open their own account, they can track jobs, and it really helps them to see what all the opportunities are that are available. So we really uh, encourage people to look at that site, and it has a lot of career building tools as well. There are over nine tools available on that site. And the training, which is new, and new, relatively new, we are an organization that's 24 years old, but are relatively new in the sense we started training about five years ago. And the training really came from the need of employers in Perth County, uh, manufacturing employers to be specific, and also supported by the evidence that we were gathering through the research we do. So it's really good to be able to not just say, people are saying, you know, this is what's happening, but the data was actually also demonstrating that employers and manufacturing really needed help with job retention and finding people to fill those positions. The four counties, we have a very low unemployment rate. So is it the same in Perth as it is in Huron, as it is in Bruce or Gray? Well, the size of our region determines how deep the, the data goes for us. And so our information is available by economic region, which fortunately for us is the four counties of Bruce Gray, Huron, and Perth. So as it, re, as it stands right now through StatScan data, we are at a 3.9% unemployment rate across the four counties. Uh, when the census information is released, we will find out more about what the counties unemployment rates are but for now we only know about the economic region and I will also say uh, that it is the lowest uh, unemployment rate across the province so we are in a in a position where we are employers uh, need employees and we don't have enough people to fill those jobs currently uh, at least the people that are looking for work currently is that what a participation rate is that's correct. We talk about the number of people living in our region, and then we talk about the participation rate. How many people that are eligible, so 15 and older, eligible to work in our region that actually are participating? And that is the participation rate. And we can look at those data by uh, age, uh, age cohort. So we know from the 15 year olds all the way up to 65 and over how they're participating in the workforce. So if our unemployment is so low, and we have hiring signs everywhere. Why aren't people moving to this area to secure employment? Oh, big question, Peter. Oh my goodness. Housing, housing. Um, I was saying to our staff recently, if we had places to put people, like houses to place, to house people, 
our program would just skyrocket. We know that there are people in other regions that could probably fill the jobs in our region. However, we don't have housing. And so that has become, interestingly enough, five years ago, when we were talking about labor market and why aren't jobs being filled, we were talking about skills gaps. We were talking about people in our community that didn't have the skills employers were looking for. Now we are talking housing and transportation. So where there might be available housing, and it's a, it's very, very uh, low availability, if any at all, people cannot get to where those jobs are because um, affordability is the other the other idea around housing. We ha you might drive around and you might see a lot of construction happening, but it's not necessarily affordable housing. About 98% of the vacancies in our region are entry level, what we call entry level positions. So they are uh, just above minimum wage jobs. And when we look at the cost of housing, that's not going to cut it today in this in this environment. So there is a mismatch to wages and uh, earning power of people in those jobs and the availability of the the affordability of that housing. Gemma, thanks for joining me today. Changing lives, building community, getting people homes and jobs. Thank you. Thank you, Peter.